हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दैनल पेडेटिक्स नेक्स्ट द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन टूडे आई स्पेसिफिकली चूजन इज द स्कॉर्पियन स्टेम नाउ पर्टिकुलरली वन और टू लाइन्स रिगार्डिंग विच इज द मोस्ट पॉइजनस स्पीशीज फाउंड इन द इंडिया दैट इज द इंडियन रेड स्कॉर्पियॉन दैट इज द मेस्बर्थस टेमुलस दैट इज सो कॉल ऑफ वन लाइन दैट यू कैन रिमेंबर बट वट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज रिगार्डिंग द स्कॉर्पियन टॉक्सिन this scorpion toxin is majorly two things neurotoxin as well as cardiotoxin actually what happens in the scorpion venom is that it affects the voltage dependent ion channels so there is some damage which is seen to the voltage dependent ion channels so if you particularly go for the clinical features the clinical features can be segregated into three one can be the local manifestations one can be the systemic manifestation and one is the complication the local manifestation where there is a bite at that place there can be pain severe pain and there can be paresthesia so this is the local manifestation and in the systemic manifestation actually here there is a autonomic storm there is a autonomic storm and first it is the cholinergic storm which is followed by the adrenergic stimulation so there is a stimulation autonomic the storm comes so first it is cholinergic which is followed by the adrenergic and if you go to the complications majorly these are related to the nervous system as well as the respiratory failure so there can be encephalopathy convulsions aphasia hemiplegia cerebral hemorrhage then hematological can also be seen disseminated intravascular coagulation and respiratory failure right so it's a simple way you can remember local manifestation systemic please remember the word autonomic storm and when you say the autonomic storm basically initially there is the cholinergic storm and the cholinergic storm will be due to the stimulation of parasympathetic nervous system so the parasympathetic nervous system will be activated there will be bradycardia there will be hypotension there will be salivation there will be urinary incontinence diarrhea there will be constricted pupil meiosis and the important thing is this can also cause priapism in males right so it is a cholinergic storm initially and this is particularly what is seen due to the cholinergic storm this cholinergic storm is followed by the adrenergic storm and in the adrenergic storm now this is due to the stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system which will lead to the increased levels of catecholamines sympathetic nervous system there will be increased level of catecholamines so again what will happen to heart rate now tachycardia hypertension diaphoresis hyperthermia even hyperglycemia right this can lead to urinary retention tachypnea now it is the dilation of pupil midriasis or tremors may be seen so initially cholinergic which is followed by the adrenergic storm which can be seen is yes. then if this is a simple picture to show actually what actually happens here a scorpion bite is there here they are mentioning is the adrenergic axis this is the cholinergic axis so if you can particularly see like this adrenergic axis cholinergic axis all the features are related to this and the important thing here is they can have the cardiovascular effects so in the heart there is risk of arrhythmias and there is risk of myocardial depression so if myocardial depression will be there left ventricular failure will be there this can lead to pulmonary edema right apart from the routine features you are worried about the involvement of the heart involvement of the lungs and even there is uncoordinated neuromuscular activity which can lead to particularly the multi organ failure here so this is the things remember heart arrhythmias lungs pulmonary edema and the cns encephalopathy are we having any management here yes we are having the two important things in the management two things are important one is the prazosin another is the scorpion anti venom this is two things which are important and prazosin drug this is basically considered to be a poor man anti scorpion venom that is a poor man anti scorpion venom this is a post synaptic alpha 1 adrenergic receptor antagonist 
and this has got both pharmacologic pharmacological and physiological antidote right this is basically an antidote to the scorpion venom so what it basically reduces is this reduces the preload this decreases the sympathetic outflow in the cns this inhibits the enzyme phosphodiesterase which increases the level of cyclic gmp and nitric oxide basically acts via cyclic gmp and this also increases the insulin secretion which is inhibited by venom so there are multiple way by which the prazosin acts and this prazosin is basically considered to be the drug of choice in the scorpion sting case right so this is the first line drug and this should be given to all patients who are showing the autonomic storm in the dose of 30 microgram per kg per dose and you should repeat the prazosin after 3 hours based on the clinical response and you should continue till the extremities become warm and dry and the peripheral veins are visible right so prazosin becomes the drug of choice here in this scorpion sting this was the question which was basically asked in the inset exam my 2023 right a 5 year old child was visiting village with his grandmother he developed inconsolable cry on the way they visited the pediatric emergency after 3 hours there was altered sensorium increased drooling cold clammy skin increased sweating so you can see all the features which are just related to the autonomic storm heart rate 140 at this age is tachycardia blood pressure 140 by 90 is hypertension respiratory rate is normal spo2 is normal so what will be the most appropriate treatment and that answer lies in the prazosin is yes. the answer here is the prazosin then one more thing you should remember that when you are managing the pulmonary edema if the pulmonary edema develops in this scorpion sting morphine has not to be used because morphine carries the risk of the dysarrhythmias it carries the risk of the dysarrhythmias right so morphine is particularly not used to treat the pulmonary edema right so this was one of the question asked so they have taken a very small topic scorpion sting do subscribe to this channel be collect be basically connected with the pediatrics pediatrics next is always for you thanks